Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the NDD Games YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over common charity format. So this is a brand new format along with a few others that Konami have officially announced they're going to support. Um, it's an all common based format. So you're only allowed to play common printing, uh, common printings of cards. So uh, like we've had a tournament or a, yeah, a few tournaments so far where people have been experimenting. I do feel like the format's really uh, unexplored and undefined, so you're gonna see some wacky stuff. But um, I think Farfa did a, a tournament with all commons, and Goki was the best deck uh, of that format. But I think um, the players who were playing in it only had like a week to prepare. Um, so it was like, figure out a deck uh, and just stick with it. I think Tower's decks are really good, but, um, what I mean by that is the cards that are really hard to remove have uh, uh, effects that they unaffect the card effects. So I think Kai's use are like really good in this format. But um, yeah, it's really uh, unexplored. It's a brand new format. Like I, I love brand new formats. I love like different sort of formats. Um, I play a lot of draft myself. I do like dual links. I like speed duels. Um, considering I literally <laughs> work pretty hard uh, competing and traveling uh, in tournaments. Uh, with the, uh, the current meta and the uh, studying the meta and all things like that i do uh enjoy like casual sort of formats this is definitely a casual formats it's budget friendly um but there's definitely going to be a meta for this uh format so if you guys uh want the background uh there was a previous format called uh castle party pegasus challenge which includes um you're only allowed to use cards of the same rarity so super rare ultra rare you're only allowed to use those uh, those cards so this is official, this is going to be supported. We could see our master door. Um, I'd love to see our master door, I think it'd be fantastic. And it gives uh, common cards a purpose, you know, because a lot of time coming, uh, when you buy bulk, uh, myself being a vendor, um, when I buy bulk sealed products, a lot of the commons are just like, uh, picked out really. So it's good to have common cards as like have a purpose in a format of their own. So, yeah, this is great. Um, if you guys want to read this, uh, this is going to be on uh, geektyrant.com. So you guys can go through and read the other formats as well. So we're just going to look at the um, the decks you can play for this format. It's quite a few. So first of all, here you can see Grand Marju. Um, of course, Grand Marju is common. But um, a lot of people start to pick up Tengi. I know Goki I just mentioned there. Uh, Lunalite. Um, and yeah, you can play like uh, a Skull Servant sort of deck as well, I've, I've seen. So there's quite a few options you can play. So we'll go through the first list here. This is the Gren Marju list. Um, so we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. So obviously Gren Marju is common. We also got Gizmeka Rochi, it's common. Uh, I think this came out in, oh, I can't remember what structure deck. It might be a recent one. I think it's the Cyber Strike structure deck it's come out in. Uh, Necroface, e Millions. Um, so it's not actually too different than what you play normally. Um, a few good staple cards to pick up. I would personally pick up Kaiju's, Pancratops. Um, of, of course, you're, you're abiding by the current uh, ban list, but you're just playing common cards. Uh, got Pop Desires, Allure of Darkness, uh, Chalice, which I think is fantastic. But like I said, we could see a meta where people are playing cards that could be unaffected. Um, so if your opponent's ending like a Towers card, Chalice isn't really that good. I think. Um, the utility of just setting it and using it as a negate might be the best way to use it, but uh, I think Kaiju is a little bit better. Uh, I think Pankratops is like crazy good in this sort of format. Yeah, it's at one, but it could just win you a game, uh, especially going second. Uh, Battle Fader, yeah, that's a common. <laughs> um, Dark Hole, yeah, it's an option as a board wipe. And yeah, so you'd be surprised like how many cards that you could pick up. Uh, staples you might have like in your bulk. Uh, Corp of the Graves, uh, a common printing. So yeah, this is just one example, uh, Gwen Marju, but we look onto a Tangy build. So we've got uh, Lava Golems, we've got loads of uh, spot removal, Kaijus. Got Vanity's uh, Fiend there, which is quite interesting. Uh, I suppose the, uh, the 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 Tangies can like inherently summon themselves, so they're just free special summons, and they don't really lock you into anything, except for like Worms, if you're using the effects in Grave, but that doesn't really make a difference. Um, again, we've seen cards like Draw and Lockbird, Effect Failures, so these cards could be, you could have lying around, um, or you could try and like get ahead of the curve now, invest in them. Um, but like I said, early days, um, like the format is undefined, 
and the game is only going to grow as well. Like we're going to see reprints of these cards in common. There's going to be more co uh, commons uh, brought into the game, more reprints. So this sort of format's going to grow. I think it's going to be uh, super interesting to keep an eye on. Uh, if you guys want to see more content like this, let me know. Uh, I'm I'm super keen to play some uh, uh, common charity uh, tournaments, events. I know there's a Discord. Um, it's been really popular. I wouldn't mind uh, jumping into a game or a few. So if you guys want to check out my Twitch uh, in the description, uh, drop me a follow on there, and I'll I'll look into playing some tournaments in this format. It looks pretty fun. Uh, opting to play uh, Sort of Blackout as well. I think this is quite cool. Call it as heck. Good common card. Um, Metaverse as well. It's quite interesting. And of course, like look at the extra deck. Got Barlow Savage. Sorry, Barlow Dragon. Um, also have the Tornado Dragon, Yazi. Loads of cool cards. I think this is the main card you want to be uh, summoning, the Tangy Link. Um, it cannot be targeted and special summon a token, so it's good extension, really. Yeah, I think it's a good card. Um, I think this deck's probably one of the best decks to play in this sort of format as well. Yeah, so I think one of the best decks to play is Goki. Um, I think it's quite obvious. We've seen from like, past streams and stuff with, uh, with common formats. Goki is just super consistent and it has like a bit of grind game as well. I think a lot of these decks do struggle in the grind. Um, Lunar Light is another good option. Uh, this is like fusion Lunar Light. So it's not even like the Lunar Light we've been used to seeing in previous formats. Um, obviously Tiger's Limited. Or T Tiger Band. I can't remember. Is Tiger Limited or Band? It's not even included on this list. But um, I think Tiger's Limited. It's not one to return. But uh, yeah, this is like a fusion sort of build. Uh, it can OTK like crazy. Uh, we see here in uh, Twin Twister and Cosmic in the main. I'm not too sure if that's the best idea, but I think uh, Kaiju is probably the way to go in terms of disruption. Um, and yeah, that's that's the format in a nutshell. Um, you guys want to see more content? Let me know. Uh, I'd love to play some tournaments in this format. I'd love to see some OTSs, like take advantage of these new sort of formats and play some tournaments. Um, and yeah, so let, let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know uh, what decks you're going to be playing in uh, the common charity format. And uh, if you want to see my content, just uh, drop my socials a follow below and I'll see you guys in the next one.